everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. The winding road to the Super Bowl continues here in the divisional round, where two teams look to take another step towards the Super Bowl. It's the Patriots going up against the Chiefs. With that, let's get out to Arrowhead. Here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Larry, from one of the loudest venues in the NFL, there's a look at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Coming up, it's divisional round Saturday, and we've got an AFC battle on tap between the New England Patriots and the Kansas City Chiefs. Hello, everyone. As the postseason continues here on EA Sports, we're pleased to bring it to you. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And who has the edge here? You got one side that had some extra rest, but another comes in off a win last week in the wild card round. And it's funny, depending on which team you are, you say that that's an advantage. You'll take the rest. You'll take the week off. Get your guys healed up a little bit and ready to go. But that team that's coming in off of a win last week, they're really excited to keep playing. They feel like they are hot and ready to go. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shot at the 23-yard line. So here come the Chiefs for their opening drive. They'll be led out by the number one overall selection back in 05 out of the University of Utah. It's Alex Smith. I think one of the things that attracted people to Alex Smith initially was his mobility, and that's never changed. That guy's a great athlete, but he's so sharp with the football, so accurate, and takes care of it so well, he rarely puts his team in bad situations. Now a play fake here on first down. Deep drop. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Jamie Collins coming hard on the blitz. He dumps him for a loss of eight. Partner, the Mike linebacker, the middle linebacker, has so many different responsibilities. How excited do you think he was to get home with that blitz? Yeah, he wants a sack. He got it. Throw on second down to Smith. And it's caught over the middle. Wilson. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong arm guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. Catch made right side by Wilson. And he's able to get up here to the 26. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. On fourth down, on is Dustin Colquitt to kick this away. Back deep for New England, Julian Edelman. Partner, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. Edelman set to return. Oh, nice move. <laughs> Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And the Patriots take over. So here come the Patriots now to take over on offense. They're led out by a man who started more Super Bowls than anyone in NFL history, the great Tom Brady. I can't help but admire the career Tom Brady has had. The numbers are off the charts. The Super Bowl championships and rings, we know that they are incredible. But how about the durability? Had one season that he missed, most of that season because of a knee injury. The rest of the time, he answers the bell and wills his team to victory more times than not. Wide open, Julian Edelman. 12 yards on the pickup, and that's good for a New England first down. All week in practice, they stress grounding, pounding the football, and they really executed it well there to get the first down. That usually means getting back to being physical in practice because when you emphasize pounding the football, it doesn't really come together unless you practice it the same way you're going to play it in the game. So that means more bodies, more pads, and a whole lot of popping last week, and they got it done in the game. Brady to throw on second down. To the sideline, and oh, that's well done. Able to drag the feet, he's going to have the first down. Was that a receiver? <laughs> yeah, actually it was. It was a running back who was a receiver on the play. Ike, he's been spending time in the receiver drills getting his feet down. Well, those guys out of the backfield, they got to be good, agile with their feet. 
They go play action here on first down. This will be caught at about the three. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. And out come the Chiefs now. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. On second down, here's Smith. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And they're able to get this one across the 35. They got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets them a new set of downs. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6'5", and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Here's Smith now on second down. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Macklin. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. Offense comes to the line now, first and 10. They'll come out in the pistol. They'll run the option left. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. Second down and a little ways to go here. Second and 13. From the 50, it's Smith. And this will be complete. Smith fighting Macklin. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. He'll send this one into the Midwestern air, and it's a good one. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. In this one, because when you run him on short gains, the risk-reward and him taking hits... I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Looking for Macklin, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Logan Ryan. And he will return this one to the 30-yard line. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. So after the INT, it's Brady. And complete on the right side to Bennett. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 13 yards there on the pickup. And it'll give the Patriots a first down. We have played a quarter here in this AFC Divisional Playoff. 10-zip our score. And we're back to Arrowhead after this. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, it's the Patriots in possession to begin quarter number two, and they've got it here with a first down. Throwing on first down is Brady. That nearly picked off. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but it does get away and it's second down. I know in every game we do, we talk about momentum. That was a momentum play lost. 
And now there could be a letdown because they didn't get the interception. Yeah, you could almost hear the collective gasp on the sideline as he could not come up with that football. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Okay, no score on that play, but this guy's been a touchdown machine all year long. You know they trust him with the football. They'll go to Blunt, try and pound it in. And he is in. Touchdown, New England. LeGarrette Blunt punching it in from a yard away. And the Patriots add on to their lead. I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking, the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. Add in a little bit of athleticism and a whole lot of toughness, you've got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's why the guys in the backfield get them really nice Christmas gifts, right? If they're smart, they do. And the lead will grow by one more. A drive there of just four plays, and it ends in a touchdown run by LeGarrette Blunt. Goskowski now after the touchdown. He'll send this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee and they'll take over at the 25. The New England defense gearing up to take the field. Now the interception for them the last time and that turned into six points. You think during their break they reminded the offense that hey, we helped you guys Remember out that a little guys? bit, yeah. right? You know, they want to see if they can do it again for them. They're putting together an entire team game by how they're playing on defense. So the interception, the last drive, what will happen here? They'll start the drive with Jamal Charles. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Play fake for Charles. Now Smith. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. Throwing on third down, Smith. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. Timing's crucial in any route thrown, but when you throw an out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback. Are my feet going to get down inbounds? On that play, all those things going through his head might have caused him to drop it. And now Edelman. Call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Tom Brady leads the offense out for their next possession. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interception. But as it stands, that brings up Ford. Goskowski now for the Pats field goal try. This will be just a 21-yard attempt. And Goskowski's kick is good. And the lead now increases to 20 to nothing. So give them three there. A good drive gets them inside the five, but they couldn't punch it in. And credit this defense, too. That was the old bend but don't break approach. But it kept the offense out of the end zone. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they will take over at the 25. And now here comes Kansas City. And last drive, three and out. Still a goose egg on the scoreboard. How do they break that goose egg? They've got to find a way to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers, get them some space, and try and make a first down and get some momentum going. It's been a struggle for them throughout the game, and that three and out on the last possession, that told you just how stalled they are on offense. So who will step up here? We'll see. When you see passes knocked down by those guys I call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. Back to the air, Smith on second down. He's got a man wide open, it's Macklin. And he's gonna be taken down deep into Patriot territory. A big play there on the catch and run. 57 yards. 
Terrific catch there by Jeremy Macklin. Harkens back to his days as a Missouri Tiger, where they used him almost like a wingback. You know, he would catch passes, they hand it to him on running plays. You can see that great ability once the ball's in his hands. Yeah, so great in space, and a two-time All-American back in those days as a Tiger at Missouri. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fellow runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Looked like they had an opportunity for a big play across the middle, but he didn't have the concentration or the focus necessary and dropped it before he could haul it in. Short yardage situation, here's Charles. And he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. A five-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. First and goal from the five. They run it. It's Charles. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. And while there is no gain on that run, we do know coaches whose identity is rooted in taking it almost to the limit and then changing things up on you down the stretch. I think we're getting really close to that point in time, though, where the identity may have to go out the window. They've got to go a little bit faster in order to try and win the game. Here's Smith into a double team, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Brandon, this is why golfers do their best. Catching it left side. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That next teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. A reminder, as we did all through the regular season, we'll check in with Larry Ridley at halftime. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half of play. Here's Brady. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. Give him three on the play, and that'll make it second down. And now they're in the hurry up. Now Brady throwing on second down. It's caught outright Amendola. And he's brought down. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. Brady now on first down. Screen pass to Blunt. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. Well, that's what you're looking for when you're wanting to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. A five-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. Slam route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field has popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Martellus Bennett with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Patriots add six to their lead. I heard a coach talk about those late-in-the-half scores, especially ones that give your team a pretty decent cushion. He said those could be the ones that could finish off a squad if you let them. Yeah, they've got the cushion. This half has been there. And that stretches the lead to 27. Yeah. 
So that one a long 11 play drive. And it ends with a New England touchdown. Goskowski now after the touchdown. He'll send this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. Out now the Chiefs offensive unit ready to do battle again. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. The final shot here before break. Smith going underneath for Charles. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. So it's on to halftime of this AFC Divisional Round matchup as we'll send you down to Orlando as we check in with Larry Ridley and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Football League, Charles, you never take that for granted no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done.